Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple animation using the matplotlib library in Python. So here's the documentation. And by just looking at it, it's a little bit uh, difficult to understand how is this uh, class is doing. So I guess the best way to learn how to create animation is actually by showing you how to write a Python script to create the animation. So here I'll just put this uh, on the side for now. Now let's go ahead and import our modules. So for this exercise, I'll be using the NumPy uh, module to create my dummy data. And here I'm going to import the matplotlib.pyplot uh, module. And from the matplotlib module.animation, we're going to import the func animation uh, class. The fun animation class allows you to make animations by repeatedly uh, calling a function. So let me just give you a quick demo on what we'll be creating in this exercise. So here we have a very simple graph. And this graph is going to plot a straight line uh, from 0 all the way to 100. So this is the application that we'll be creating in uh, this exercise. Now let me close the, the graph. And to start out, you need to think about what kind of animation they want to create. Do you want to create kind of like an animation that, uh, like the straight line that I just showed you, or do you want to create animation that uh, is going to dynamically uh, change the, the axis, or do you want to create animation that uh, plot different dots uh, in your graph? So those are the things that you need to think about before you create uh, your animation graph. And for this exercise, I'm just going to create something simple. So here I'm going to create uh, two lists uh, objects. And just going to store my uh, values inside the xData uh, variable, as well as the yData variable. And next, we need to create our figure object and axis object. If you didn't know your uh, x axis and y axis limits, so you can set the limits uh, manually. So here I'm going to set the x and y axis uh, manually. So for the x axis, uh, I'm going to use the range between 0 and the 105. And for the y axis, I'm going to set the range between 0 and the 12. And next, I'm going to make a line graph. So taking the axis object, I can, I'm going to plot from uh, 0 and 0. So this is going to be a, your starting point. Now let me go back to the documentation. I'm going to grab the classes uh, parameter. So I'll put this on the top. All right, we should change the color of the, of the comments. Uh, that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and create my uh, animation uh, class instance. So taking the func animation class. Uh, so here the figure is the figure parameter and the func so stands for function uh, are required. So here we'll provide the figure first, and we don't have the function yet. So let's go ahead and write the animation function. So I'm going to, uh, so here, that's okay. I'm going to name this function uh, frame. So, okay, uh, animation frame. And inside the parameter, uh, you can name anything you want. I'm going to name my parameters i. So I just basically to take any uh, integers. And inside the animation frame uh, function, and basically we're going to pass this function to our, our fun animation uh, class and so here uh, let's do x data dot appends because we need to so every time when we increase the frame by one frame we want to increase the value by one so that means uh, from the x data list and y data list we want to append uh, a new value every time when we uh, call the animation frame function so here let's do uh, i times 10 we're going to append the value uh, increase by 10 every time when we 
add a new value to the X data list. And for the Y data list, we're going to just uh, append the, the I value. And next, uh, we're going to take this line graph object. We're going to update the X and Y axis data. So we can do that by using the set X data method. And here we want to pass the X data list. And as well as the set Y data method. And here we're going to set the Y data um, list. And lastly, we need to return the line object. Now we have the animation uh, function. So this func function. Now we're going to pass the animation frame function. So remember uh, from the animation frame function, we have a parameter called i. So we're able to pass a new frame. In this case, it's going to be a pass new i value. And we're going to use the, we're going to provide a frame uh, value to the frames parameter. So from the frames uh, parameter, and let me go back to the documentation. So this parameter will take a generated function or iterable or an integer. So that means we can either create generator or can uh, provide a list. So here I'm going to just provide a list. So using the uh, numpy dot arrange function, and I'm going to create a list of numbers with interval value of uh, 0 0.01. And for the next parameter, I'm going to set the interval. So the interval function is going to with the interval. Okay, so with interval. Okay, right here. So the interval parameter is is the time delay between uh, each frame. So it's in milliseconds, and the default is set to two hundred milliseconds. Here, I want to fire the animation frame function between every ten milliseconds. And that's it. So here, lastly, we need to uh, show the plot. Here's the whole script. You just need to have a lot of uh, code to create an animation. Now, if I just run the Python script, and here I made a typo, uh, matplotlib.pyplot. Okay, let me try again. So here, uh, when we launch the, when we run the Python script, Right now, the func animation function is uh, calling this function uh, every 10 milliseconds by passing the value from the uh, numpy.arrange function. So right now, it's running a loop. So actually, there's extra space. Now, let's go back to the, the uh, figure. And here, you can see that uh, that's finished uh, at the end. So if we look at the y-axis, and here's the the value of 10. And here's the pinnacle point of y equals to 10 and x equals to 100. Now, if you want to make the graph really fast, you can set interval to 1. Now, if I run the function, so it's still pretty slow. Oh, let me, let me uh, change that this to 0.1. And I'll put this back to uh, 10 milliseconds. Now, if I run the Python uh, script, now this time the animation uh, graph much faster. So this is everything I have in this video and hope you guys found the tutorial useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.